Hello, Director of Rehabs uh, or Regional Mentors. Welcome. Today, I am going to show you how to complete a performance evaluation for your direct reports. So, we will start on the ADP homepage. We will access the ADP performance portal just like we did for our self evaluation. So, up in the right top hand corner, we have our quick links. We will click on our employee and performance our employee and manager performance review link, and that will take us to our ADP performance portal. So in order to access our team menu, we will go to my team in the top left-hand corner, click, go down to employee development and over to performance, click again, and that will take us to our ADP performance portal for our team menu. Um, this should look pretty familiar if you just hop over and click you here we have the self-evaluation portal so we've just hopped over to the team menu in order to view our direct reports let me i'm going to just minimize the screen ever so slightly so you can see a little bit more of what's going on here um, so up here at the top we have um, some other widgets. We have multi rater we have needs approvals, touch points, and evaluations. Um, I'll just give you a little run through for what these mean. For multi raters um, this is where we can ask um, some other raters to give us a little bit of feedback for our employees. Um, touch points is where we can use this throughout the year. So once we have already completed our performance evaluation for our associates. We can then touch base with them throughout the year. Um, here is with employees. So um, if you do have any active touch points with employees, here's where you can easily access all of them and manage it. Um, then we have evaluations. We have our active evaluations. Um, here you can see I have completed one. We're going to review that today. And then we have our needs approval. Um, needs approvals will only be active, I guess really useful for regional mentors and the RVPOs or COL. Um, this is if our DOR has completed performance evaluations for their staff, it will automatically go to needs approvals. And from there, we are able to review and approve the performance evaluation. Now down here in our team summary, Here's where we can actually access the performance evaluations for our individual staff members. So everybody in this team summary will be your direct report and will need a performance evaluation completed by you. So I have had two DORs complete their self-evaluation thus far. Um, one of my DORs has completed it and then I've completed her performance review. So we can see the entire process um, and how to release the evaluation to the associate. Um, the other DOR has just completed uh, his self-evaluation and I can show you how to complete the performance evaluation. So let's start with performance evaluation. Um, I'm going to click on my DOR that has completed his self-evaluation. So you can either click on the associate's name or you can click on the arrow. Um, either way, it will take you to the employee's performance page. So you always want to double check to make sure that you have the right employee that you're thinking of. Uh, you don't want to do a performance evaluation for Susie and accidentally put it on John's um, performance page. I'll be a little confused. So um, just as we did our self-evaluation, you will use your evaluation, evaluation widget down in the bottom right-hand corner. So I am going to click on 2020 performance plan for full-time and part-time. You can either click on the wording or the arrow, it'll take you to the same spot. And from here, we have the performance evaluation for uh, one of my DORs. Just like you do for your self-evaluation, you can click Start Evaluation in order to initiate the evaluation. So here, my DOR has completed their self-evaluation. Um, what is really nice about the ADP Performance Portal is it automatically pops up the answers for each section um, for their self-evaluation. So you can easily review how the employee rated themselves as you are doing their ratings. 
So you go through and for every single section, just like you did for your self eval, you complete uh, the rating for your employee's performance evaluation. Um, now for the individual um, sections for goals, performance factors, and development activities, you do not need to write comments. Um, but for the overall sections for goals, performance factors, and development activities, you do need to write comments. So just like the self-evaluation. So let's get to the summary page. Okay. So here I'm on the review page. Um, let's pretend like I, you know, rated my DOR through all of those sections. Um, so this is the final page of the evaluation. I will review what I rated my DOR and put comments for each section, decide if it is finalized or not. And then the submit button, once you complete all sections, will be blue and you will be able to submit your performance evaluation or your direct report. Now, once it is submitted, it will go to uh, the direct supervisor. So for me, I'm completing my performance about, or I'm completing the performance evaluation for one of my DORs. I've submitted it and it will go to my regional VPO, John Wagner, who will then approve it or reject it. Um, if he does reject it, he will give me some feedback on maybe some comments that he wants me to add, maybe some comments that he wants me to adjust. Um, and then I can um, edit it and submit it again. So now that we have a performance evaluation submitted, um, let's go back to my team menu. Anytime that you want to go back to your team menu, you can go up to the top and click back to team menu. Now I have submitted a performance evaluation for one of my DORs and my direct supervisor has already um, approved it. So let's go to the next steps. By the way, you'll get notification um, via email for all of these. So whenever my DORs submit their self-evaluation, I get an email through ADP saying, you know, DOR Joe Schmill has submitted their self-evaluation. And likewise, whenever my supervisor approves the performance evaluation that I submitted, I get an email saying, you know, John Wagner has approved Joe Schmo's performance evaluation. So all of these things are notified um, through ADP with your email. So I have completed the self, I have completed the performance evaluation for this DOR. And now you can see in the evaluation widget for her release to employees. So this means it has been approved by my supervisor and I can then access this evaluation and then release it to the employees. So once you get the notification that you, um, your performance evaluation has been approved by your supervisor, that's whenever you wanna talk to your employee organize a meeting with them and sit down um, to actually review the performance evaluation. So you can release it to the employee, sit down, have a meeting and discuss how you rated them, their areas for improvement and their areas of strength. And then that completes the performance evaluation process. Um, once you do release it to the employee, I, I can't show you that right now today. Um, once you do sit down with the employee and you release it to them, there will be some buttons for you to sign off. Um, I assume it's gonna be very similar to the buttons down here on the bottom right-hand corner. Um, so the employee will sign off and then you will sign off and then that will officially end the performance review process. Um, but if you do have any questions, I encourage you to reach out to your individual regional mentor for support. Um, otherwise, IT can also help you, so you can reach out to any members of our IT team. Thank you for your time today, and uh, happy evaluating.